I vaguely remember, but I don't fully remember. <laughs> Fired. Yeah, this will soon be the uh, the running joke of the stream. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? No, it's not done yet. It, it will be done. I promise you it will be done. Just yet? No. Yet it has, it has not been finished. Um, all right. So it looks like uh, add a design for add play. This model will start the navigation component in the app. Yes. Okay. I remember. So we built this out last week. This Coolio little thing here. Um, now that I look at it, I feel like we should put some sort of border around it. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And, uh, we started coding this up. So that's what we're going to start with, uh, coding this up and creating a playlist is basically what's going on. Oh my God. Splinter. What's up, man? Welcome back, dude. Thought I was the running joke of the stream. You always are. You forever will be, but we got to add something else too. You know, <laughs> dude, nice to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Yo, DK, you know that happens all the time. Like, let's be real. <laughs> I always forget how to speak. You're starting late these days? Well, not that I'm starting late, but I don't, I, like, I, I don't think... Yeah, yeah, I moved to PST. <laughs> That's why. I was like, I don't think you've been here for a while. Yeah, I'm, uh, so I'm over on the West Coast now. I don't live in Florida anymore. Yeah, like this border looks pretty good. This border. Let's just add like a little bit of a color here. Like a color that will match. Mm. Maybe the font color. Yeah, we should do the font color here. There we go and give it like that is way too thick. Yeah, one. I think that looks good. I think that'll be nice to have. Your beard looks more West Coast. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is that a good thing? <laughs> oh man. It was it was a uh, pretty wild before, man. I here's the thing. I grow up my beard. Like, I want to grow it out so bad, like huge, you know? And then, uh, it just, it just looks like I gained 30 pounds and I just, I don't like it and it doesn't grow the way I want it. And it's just, ugh. it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Is there such thing as too thick? Never. <laughs> but that's what we're working on today, folks. Um, adding up or adding in this little modal here. Uh, and having some ad playlist functionality to our app, Groove It. And Splinter, you haven't been here for a while, but we're working on this new app called uh, called Groovy. It's going to be like a collaborative social playlist with your friends. Uh, add songs to it, play music, and then uh, talk about it in the app. Sounds good, dude. Yo, thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate you. I hope all is well. We got to catch up like for real, for real soon. Have a great rest of your day. If I shaved it off, dude, I look like, I look like a damn child. That's all I got to say. It looks terrible. In my opinion, it looks very, very terrible. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's start up our React Native server here. Because you're really old now. <laughs> what are you, 19? Nah, man. Nah, not, not 19 anymore. I mean, I'm definitely not old. I'm only 26, all right? But I look I, I look like I'm 19 probably. I look like I'm 19. Maybe even a little younger. Let's run let's run the iOS app here there. So Alec must be like 40. How did you know? How did you know my real age? 40. Yeah, yeah. 26 and old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. 26, 26 is an old. 26 is a good solid age to be to be alive, you know? Oh my god, that's hot coffee. From this 35-year-old bite me. Damn, okay. Yo, you know, you know we don't judge here, dude. 
I had a... My freaking mouse, dude. It didn't charge last night. My wireless mouse. Alright, so logging with Spotify. We got some cool stuff here. Whoa, dude. It's so cool. We add that. Boom. There's our modal. Okay. So, this is what we gotta do. We gotta add stuff here. <laughs> uh, and this is not in... It's our add playlist modal. Uh, so basically, I guess the first thing is we'll add our title, our two inputs, and then a uh, create button, right? And that's that's pretty much the game plan. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? You had to open your calculator? For the longest time when I was like, I think when I, I first turned 21, I was like, yeah, I'm 16. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm definitely 21. Okay, so we have our backdrop, we have our modal, and we have our header. Our header is here. Um, and let's give it the right text and stuff like that. Uh, so this is going to be a semi bold 24 font. So what is the style constants at right now? So we don't have any style constants with a a 24. So let's do export const. I will say modal header size. I will do iOS and this is going to be 24. We're going to give it that with a base font color and we're also going to give it a font weight which is going to be style constants dot semi bold yeah there we go when people ask you randomly yeah it's when people put you on the spot right you're just like wait a minute how old am i really <laughs> it's how it's how it is yeah no i totally get it Um, okay, and then next, we just literally need to put, let's get groovy. Let's get groovy. Nice. So we got that, and now we need to center this guy as well, right? So that should be not align items, but justify content should be center, I believe. If I remember my... Uh, my flex box. Remember it all right. That's what it should be. Nope, that's not that's not right. <laughs> oh, we don't even have to do that. What am I saying? We just do a uh, text text align because it's gonna go across the whole top of the view, anyways, right? So let's redo that. That should be no problemo. Yo, careless Carlos. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Pixel Logic team, my friend. Glad to have you here. There it is, baby. Okay. So we got that. Let's get groovy. And we are what, like 10? 10 down? So let's do a margin top here. Margin or a padding top, I guess would be good. Let's do a pad and top here. We're gonna do about 10 and we, and we good, we good. Alec has now said, thank you so much for that follow. 17, 79 times, you right. I have said that. And I would say, welcome to the Pixelogic team. Yes, thanks DK. There's a discord. Feel free to join Carlos. We'd, got, would be happy to have you, man. DK's in there. I don't know if you're gonna wanna join with him, but hey. There we go. Okay, cool. So we have our title text there. Oh, I forgot we didn't actually have our border color. Can we just do border here? Nah. Okay, border color, and we're gonna do style constants dot. 
This is kind of weird because we're going to be using the font, the base font color, but that's, that's okay. And then we're going to do uh, border width, right? Which is going to be one. <laughs> Stop being a bully. Hey, I got to dish it out. You, you guys bully me so much sometimes that sometimes I just got to come back and be like, bah, take that. Take that, rewind it back, you know? There we go. I'm still feeling out the border. It might it might be a no-go. How do you all feel about the border? <sighs> kind of looks kind of bad. You sign up for bullying as soon as you go live, though? <laughs> You're right. It's in the TOS. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> all right. And so the next uh, style we're going to need to put here is our input. Um, and I got to look how to do that. I don't, I don't actually really know. So react native text input. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of like component here for this. Yeah, this looks about right. Yep. That looks, that looks about right. So a foundational component for inputting text in the app via keyboard. Props provide uh, configure, configured ability for several features such as auto correction, auto capitalization, placeholder text, and different keyboard types such as numeric keypad. The simplest is to use uh, to plop down a text input and subscribe to the on change text event to read the user input. There are also other events such as on submit ending and on focus that can be subscribed to. Uh, a simple example. Okay. Ooh, this is the one I want. Oh, that's not the one I want. I just want the line. We're going to have to... We're going to have to do some styling on this to remove the uh, the border. That's what I used to do in iOS as well, so... Yo, iPhone Craft. Welcome in. Thank you so much for that follow. Glad to have you as part of the Pixelogic team, my friend. Use this placeholder. That's an indirect insult to Cat P. No placeholders are useless. How rude. <laughs> Alright, so I guess let's get this guy in there. We're going to grab our text input, import that in from React Native. Alright, and then uh, literally it's just... Oh, okay. We do this thing down here. One month to go, Dylan Hog. Holy, holy bejesus roars. Oh my lord, has it been eight months that you subscribed? That makes me love and at tier three, you freaking animal. My God, thank you so much for that roars. I appreciate you, the best mod on Twitch, folks. One month ago, my God, makes me excited. Makes me excited. Oh, thank you so much for that, Roars. Really appreciate you being here. And for that tier three, that's warms my heart. <laughs> Can I have it back to save it for the new MacBook? I mean, no, no one's stopping you. That's all I'm saying. Hey, but I still got my MacBook if you need it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a discount for all the times you subscribed. <laughs> What's up, Evgen? Welcome in, man. And Fat Gary, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Pixelogic team. Glad to have you here, friend. Twitch finally recommends a good channel. Hey, much appreciated. How's the build going? Uh, dude, it's it's going pretty solid, I'd say. We're, um, we're working through some good stuff. Right now, we're just going through basically the UI kind of grinding it out and then uh we'll go ahead and start actually adding in some uh some good back end code here one of these days personal broke not actually broke okay good i was gonna say let's talk about this let's talk about this Royce. okay so on change text. 
we have useless placeholder. So we have to give a value and on change text. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then, so this is how we do our placeholder border width on change text. Text is equal to our on change text. It gets passed in here. That's our value that comes through. Our value is value. Okay. I think that makes sense. I think I can do that. <laughs> Slapping people with fish. <laughs> the fish lapper. Can I just do... Oh, we got to change both of these. So we have a playlist name. Oh, how does this work when we have multiple? Oh, we can just change this to be something different. So this can be, um, play, whoa, playlist name value. There we go. On change text. It's, it's always justified. Find time for some hooks. Hey, yo, what's up, Poopa? Welcome in. <laughs> it's just what I met you and didn't slap me with a fish. I like I'll be honest, I think if a fish is being is like coming your way and it just whacks you in the face, that's gonna hurt big time. You just create another one? That that is true. Another one. Uh this thing is called Text input. Okay. And then for this, we have value, which will equal the playlist value name or playlist name value on change text. Equal on change playlist name text let's get the naming right here folks okay and then we have just a style i think right oh i forgot i forgot this there it is uh yeah and so then the style i wonder if we can just do I'm curious, let's do this here. No, that didn't seem to do it. I'm pretty sure it's usually how I've done it in iOS. Maybe not though. Uh, it annoys me that that modal is slightly larger than the cards in the background. Oh yeah, I can totally see that. I can totally see that. That uh, is definitely something we might want to uh, want to consider, especially if it's frozen. Oh, <laughs> are we talking about the fish here? <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. Yo, Pokey. Seven days till a new iPhone review. Heck yeah, dude. Yo, heck yeah. It's going to be it's going to be good. Man, do you think I you think I can get it and just do an unboxing on stream? I don't know if I can go a full day without opening it. That's going to be it's going to be a rough time. Might be kind of fun though. You have to? Oh my god. <laughs> Savage, man. Savage. Um, let's just, I guess we'll do style as well. And let's do styles.input. And then let's grab this guy as well. 
And then we're going to do the same deal here. Uh, and this is, oh, this one's gonna be, oh shit, yeah, this one's gonna be hard. We're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to make this like a different component, this member selector thing. I still haven't figured out what to do with it. We gotta do something though. Um, let's grab that guy. All right, so at least we should have that. It's good to hear teach them hooks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Does this feel like a job to you all? I'm so confused. Come here and you're like, oh God, you gotta, you gotta teach this guy how to code again. Okay. There we go. There's something. <laughs> um, obviously, we need to do a text color or just color. I always forget. And we're going to do style constants dot base font color. What size do we have for these guys? This is 11 semi bold. So font size style constant dot uh yes card item detail yes oops that one and then we're gonna do a font weight font weight we got a style constants and we're going to semi bold it yeah, not even not nothing. Just yes. Okay. I see how it is. Evgen. I get you. I get you, dude. Um, okay. So let's do border bottom border, not them no. border bottom. What's the color on this thing? an interesting color I don't know what I did why I did that but we gonna do it do export const uh, modal or input border bottom color there we go god I hate C++ oh no I don't think I like it that much either. I haven't really given it a full chance, but I don't think I want to. Is there no board? Oh, there's no comma after this. So border bottom width. Yeah. Let's do one. C++ is superior. Well, Depends on the person you ask, eh? <laughs> All right, let's see if this gives us what we want. There we go. It's exactly what we want. Okay, so the next step, um, do I have an opacity on this thing? Why is this? Oh, the width is like, it's like a half. Interesting, okay. Can we do half sizes here? Yeah, okay, looks better. Looks better. As you can see by the plus plus. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to wrap this text input in a view uh, and then move it down, right? And so if the width on this
is 240 and our entire width here of this thing is 320. Let's do some quick quick maths here. 240 divided by, what did I say, 320? 70, ooh, 75%, okay. So on our text input, let's do a width of 75%. That should get us to the proper, proper size here. Um, and then, yeah, I do think we're gonna need to wrap this in a view so we can move it down. Let's do that and do this. All right, cool. And then we're gonna need to do a, uh, what is this thing probably gonna be? Justify content? No, uh, the, the other one, align items. I believe that should be D1. No, I always forget what it is. And I'm not, okay, I'm not digging this border anymore. It just doesn't look good. It looks terrible. Right? Like, it looks so much better like that. <laughs> CPP is, is uh, nice to a point. I mean, isn't most, um, most game development done in C++? And a lot of, like, graphical UI things as well? Or am I mistaken? Only good games. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I'm trying to get reference back to what I was doing here. Do like justify content. I can I can never remember. The container space between. Oh, okay, okay. I don't deal with games. I only write Swift. <laughs> hey, you can write games in Swift. He needs your help with flex. No, I don't need your help. I'm gonna. I'm doing it on my own. I'm just trying to remember because I, for some reason, always have such a hard time with this thing. Uh, do I need to display flex? Not text align. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Start off here. Oh, uh, I'm doing it in the wrong spot. That's why. So, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna do input container. I'm gonna do this here. It's okay. It's good to struggle every so often. Um, and then for this, we're gonna do display. Display some flex. And then here we want to align items, center. Then we want to take this and then we're going to want to do style equals styles dot input container. All right, let's try it. I was just trying to write something that's translated from C++ to Swift and make it open source. Dude, yes. It's very difficult, but it's very, very doable. <laughs> and C sharp? Oh, I've never seen the C sharp side. What do you mean I delegate? <laughs> Delegation is a true role. Hey, there we go. See? Just need just need a little bit of time. 
looks good okay so now now if we need to bring this thing down this is about 20. so this view is now going to have a padding top of 20 20 pixel nice anton what is up thank you so much for that follow Glad to have you as part of the Pixel Logic team, my friend. Welcome in. Uh, and now we need to do some spacing between these two. It's interesting that the keyboard doesn't actually pop up. And we need to make this a different color for sure for the placeholder text. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully when the bases are done, we'll make the repo open source and make a PR to the main repo. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. A project I worked on, um, me and some friends were, uh, we had to convert a uh, Google, um, oh man, decompression library uh, from C++ to, to Swift. That was, uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But uh, it was awesome when it worked. It was freaking, the app wouldn't have worked without it. So if you can help the, help the community, do it, man. What you were talking about? Draco. Draco, D R A C O. <laughs> Rosa Beers is not just a pretty face. There you go. I like it. About 20? I say 25? That's 15. Padding. Bottom with an M, not an N. I think that the text looks too small. Oh, snap. Wait, what? Uh, because it had padding bottom on input. It's interesting it does it on the name. I would have thought I would have done it. Oh, maybe because I need margin bottom instead. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. It's, uh... It was pretty cool. We haven't, we should probably do it. We haven't like open sourced it or anything, but there it is. Yeah. But it, it took a while, man. It was a, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a great learning experience on like wrapping headers and like, cause you have to go what from C++ uh, to objective C++, I think. And then it was from objective C++ to objective C. And from there it would be objective C to Swift. So there was like three different links just to go from, from each spot, but it was, yeah, it worked great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for, Poopa. Thank you. That's what I was wondering. Um, at least in the example they give here, it shows that they use this state placeholder thing, but yeah, sweet man. Thank you. I didn't realize there was a actual placeholder input here. Ooh. Placeholder. We'll say playlist name. And then this one's going to be well uh members. There we go. I'll DM you what I'm working on actually. Dude, that'd be sick, man. Would love to see it. Would love to know more information. I think that stuff is really cool. 
when you ha when you have to grab other libraries and then uh, convert them into different you know languages to use it's uh like that's a process right there man it's crazy okay and then we need placeholder text color done it's on discord okay awesome dude i will take a look for sure This has been asked before. Oh, well this this is no good. <laughs> Never mind. Let's see this GitHub issue. It was closed. By a prop not salary for placeholder text color. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Hey there it is, yeah. Placeholder text color. Why are these double quotes? Get out of here, double quotes. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna do this. Uh, st styles dot. Yeah, we're gonna wanna make this. We gotta make this a tad bit darker, no? Or like lighter? No, darker. Yeah, something like... It kind of looks like the bottom... Mm -hmm. Maybe something like this? I'm not really sure. Placeholder font color. Yeah, let's try that. Placeholder text color. Did I save it? Yes. Did I write it correctly? I think so. Yes. Okay. So. What did I do wrong? Wonder if you actually can't do that. Oh, it, hmm. so on these inputs, it changes it from a single to double quote. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like it's not actually taking the, the prop value. Huh? Double quotes is customary in JSX strings. Ah, gotcha. So. I'm curious if I change it to this. No, but it'll change it back. Unless you put it inside brackets. Okay, okay. I, th I feel like we dealt with this at one point and I don't remember, I don't really remember what the outcome of it was, if there was one. Hmm. Yeah. Well, no, if it's doing the prettier formatting stuff, it's going from single to double quotes. So it's doing that for a reason, right? Um, and I think it's what Poopa was talking about. 
That's cool though. We can just do it here. I mean, if we have other inputs, we have other inputs. You should be able to pass color like you did. Do I need double quotes or double brackets? Go back to what you did. Okay. Now you good. Uh, no, this, I mean, this is the only difference. And then this just like that. Hmm. hundred percent work. Okay. Maybe. No. Yeah. Is there a possibility that the style constants is not, no, that wouldn't make sense, right? Style constants should be imported before anything is even rendered. So we should have access to that property. It's not like we shouldn't, let me make sure I did this right. Style, uh, wait, hold on. Where am I, where am I, where am I? Uh, oh, that's why, uh, no, that's right. <laughs> Styles, Styles is my, the name of this. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's completely wrong. I messed up. <laughs> Style constants, yeah. That is why. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. It's, I, I got the wrong property name. <laughs> Usually the easy stuff. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> My eyes are playing tricks on me. That means I, I need more coffee because I can't see straight. Can you fix the warnings, please? I know they're so annoying, right? Um, I don't think I can fix them because you can't find the file. So I mean, I guess I don't have to put anything in there. But I want, I want to, man. It's for card item. Uh, I don't even remember where that is. It's trying to search them. It's just not there. Uh, Playlist view. Mock data. Yeah, here it is. Because I, I think if I put a regular path here or like an empty path it will do that wonder if you can hide those yo Anton what's the app about so this app is going to be a collaborative um, social playlist so let's say you and I have a playlist together on groovy you can add whatever songs you like to it from any music provider uh, I'll be able to get notifications to listen to it, and then we can discuss the music uh, in line within the app. Th that's kind of like the general basis of it, you know? Yo, Tim! What's up, man? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Pixelogger team. Glad to have you here, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, if you want to... Um, you could maybe provide a fallback. Uh, I do. I do have a fallback right now, is, is what's happening. Yo, Tim! Jeebus. Coming in with 31 fresh new devs? Holy Jeebus Christ. Thank you so much for the raid, Tim. Hello, Pixelogic dev and the tur and turtles. <laughs> the turtles crawl in slowly but surely. Dude, Tim, thank you so much, man. I think it's the first time you've you've raided the channel before. So I appreciate you being here, man. Guys, if you don't know, Tim uh, is also another great dev here on Twitch. Uh, Tim does a lot of uh, game development, actually. Uh, and we do host this channel a lot uh, when we're not live. So, dude, shout out. Thank you so much for that, man. Really, really appreciate it. Go give this channel a follow if you haven't yet. Great fun. Good times. How was your stream, man? 
Uh, and for everyone who's new here, my name is Alec. We work on just apps in general. We're working right now on a collaborative playlist app called Groovy. Um, basically, it's create playlists with your friends, collaborate on music together, and then talk in line, have comments uh, to discuss the type of music. We're making it with React Native uh, for iOS and Android. Fine tuning all the, the wording and such. Whew, baby. Yo, that's, that's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. I hope it goes well for you, man. Tomorrow the email flies. I'm sure it will. You've been working on that for a while. Yo, Perma, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Nice to see you again. We're using the empty URI. It's right here. So we have this mock data that's gonna be some playlist object, right? This playlist object is going to pass in the artwork. And so these are actually pulling from the web. And then here, um, I set some broken path, right? Some broken URL. And at that point in our card item, uh, we go in here and we already default, uh, we already default to a, um, something here it's actually a prop that you can pass into image background which is sick um but it tries to parse this uri have you seen do you want to see the teaser yeah tim send it over dude been a minute yo it's okay dude no need to say sorry it's glad to see you though we getting groovy baby you know it what's up joss welcome we can groovy, as we like to say here. Hell yeah, man. I'm going to um, save it for when I finish streaming just because I have a stream PC that I go from. And so I can't share my stream PC stuff on stream. Though I suggest everyone to check it out as well. I want to watch it after, man. I appreciate you sending it over. How long have you been working on it, dude? Like you've been working on the game for, for a while. Or maybe not. It just seems like a while because I don't know why. <laughs> Two and a half months. Okay. It's definitely not a long time at all. That's a solid amount of time, especially to get something out like that. Your Mac doesn't have a browser. Nah, man. Macs don't come with browsers. What do you mean? <laughs> no, it's my, so I have a, my gaming PC that I have a capture card that plugs into my Mac. Um, and so my chat is on my stream PC. And so when I open a link, like I can't, unless I open the chat on my, sorry, <laughs> also I open chat on my, uh, uh, my computer here. Hello, living legend. Oh my gosh. Thank you. What's up, Ram? Welcome. Wow, really nice. What's up? What's up? Welcome. Welcome. Are you using React Native or Swift? We are using uh, React Native right now. Are you stoned? No, I am not stoned. <laughs> no dev on this project is going amazingly smooth. That's, dude. That's so awesome when you can finally get into that groove. Wow. <laughs> that was a sh Yeah, sorry. Okay, I was just... I was looking at my tattoo, right? I got this tattoo here on my arm, right? And it was itching. And I'm like, why is it itching? Like, it's fairly new. And then I saw these, like... These little white dots and uh i was like oh shit what the fuck is is there something going on here but it's just part of the part of the tattoo <laughs> it's part of the tattoo it scared me a little bit i was like what is going on yeah i actually have lotion right here that's that's a good good point what's up sharp x welcome in man thanks so much for that follow which app are you creating and will be available in the app store uh hopefully soon Hopefully it'll be available soon. Um, this is gonna take us 
a little bit of time just because I only work on it two hours a day. Um, <laughs> I've been working on this app. It's called Groovy. Uh, it's a collaborative playlist app that um, you basically have playlists with a bunch of different people, different friends, and then you can add songs to those playlists from any music provider. And then we'll give you the ability to chat in line uh, for each song to talk about it. It's okay to have lotion in your room, fans. Jesus. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> when you got tattoos, you got lotion everywhere. <laughs> God. Is there anywhere I can check the tech stack you're using for the project? Uh, yeah. So we have, oh, I don't know if we have the actual Git repo here. I don't think I, it's probably a good thing to add. Uh, let me go ahead and grab, I can grab the link for you. We don't have too much in there right now. Um, but it will be coming soon. Logic dev. We commit stuff probably every other stream I'd say. There you go. There it is. Yeah, and it will be open source and it'll be available for iOS and Android. Yeah, just right now we're using React Native. Um, basically my game plan, usually I kind of start off with adding like UI and some actual backend code to make things work, but I'm going straight UI this time and just like mocking out all the data that we need. Um, and then from that point, that point on, then I'll, uh, we'll go back and we'll actually bring in some services and things like that. Tattoo equals lotion. There you go. Yeah. T uh, so Spotify does have a collaborative playlist. Yes. Um, and I use it very heavily, which is kind of why this idea came up. I have about seven or eight different uh, collaborative playlists with people. And my biggest issues are you can't add to multiple playlists, which bothers the heck out of me. You don't get notified when people add new songs to your playlist. And then I talk with my friends via text message, like, yo, look at this new song I just added. And then we have a conversation in line text. Like, why don't we just have an app that's all, all there? It like, that does everything in one spot. That makes sense. Uh, this is just a fun app, a side project for me. Um, not, not for a client or anything. I like music. Uh, I forgot what we were doing. We were working on, oh, Evgen was asking if we can work with this. Uh, let's see if we might be able to like silence the. Or silence warnings. Might be able to do some sort of silence. To display the yellow box, place console dot display yellow box equals true anywhere in your application. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we can actually pass in the specific warning. That's cool. So why don't we just then add that here? That should do the trick. Uh, and so the warning is, could not find image. Do they put a space? Let's see if that works. That didn't work. Uh, maybe in the root, like it was saying. Will you stop dreaming if this ad becomes overnight hit and you become the next billionaire? <laughs> One can dream. That is the dream. Uh, no, heck no. Why would I? It'd be fun. 
Just an idea, you should definitely allow people to edit the order of which the songs are stored in the playlist. Spotify doesn't allow for you to change the order in which the songs are played unless you do shuffle. Ooh. That's a good one too, man. Yeah, that's like a, uh, I would say after MVP feature. That's good. I might kill this UX designer. Oh my God. Careful. Why? You should probably keep yellow box warnings. Well, so that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to just filter it out for the, the text. Great trans song. Uh, what song? What song is that? This the one we're listening to now. Oh, but Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! Y'all are savage. <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay. All right. I see. Yeah, 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 dude. This song is actually pretty damn good. Uh, can I just throw this in here? But it doesn't even work. <laughs> Did I read this incorrectly? Oh, because this doesn't start with warning. <laughs> God damn it, Alec. Like this. But that like... This doesn't work either. Well, we gave it a try. <laughs> gave it a try, but it doesn't look like it's uh, it's working. Why did some uh, someone mention fallback imager? Yeah, so the reason I put this in here on purpose, I wanted to make sure that we are getting the actual fallback image. Um, oh, console disabled. Is true. He's using default source prop in unintended way. What? What do you mean unintended way? This is the default source. If the image doesn't come back, then it's it defaults, right? Like that. How does that not make sense? Yeah, let me do that then. I'm just going to throw this here. That's not fully formed URA. Right? Default source is displaying image while it loads. Mm. Gotcha. There it is. Okay. Nice. Change to uh, image source equals require. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say we can fix it later. That's that's one of the, because the reason why I did that to begin with is we're having a lot of fucking issues with it. Excuse my language, but it was terrible. <laughs> it's having a lot of issues with doing the require stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just decided to do that for now. Found a working way. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this text looks way too small. I'm not a fan. All right. We do that there. Now let's get in a button here. Uh, and so this add button, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of cool to reuse this. The problem is like, this is specifically an add button. So <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do something very much different here. Hmm. Yeah, okay.
Yeah, I think that kind of sucks. Should have done this maybe a little bit of a different way. Um, I guess not really. Like the difference here is that this has an image source, and the other ones don't. We'll just, we'll just make a uh, a separate button component for this. Card item, card details. Get out of here. What's wrong? Oh, I just I wanted to try to reuse that component, but like it's not it's not going to work well. I would have to change it. Uh, where was it? It is social auth button. Yeah. So pretty much I could use something like this. But we got to create a, all right, let's create a new folder in here. We'll call this buttons. Buttons. Add button. Yes, move that, please. And then we'll create a new file. Uh, oh, add playlist button. Js. Feel like my naming could be a tad bit better, but that's okay. Just getting through it, you know. And then I want. this guy i'm just gonna copy pasta this in here remove the stuff we don't need aka we don't need we need to change this to add playlist button we need to export that properly as well oops okay uh then we can remove that comment it's not part of this Uh, platform, we don't care about that right now. Don't need this. Actually, we might need that stuff. Uh, navigate, we don't need. Oh, actually, we, we probably will. This will be more of a dismiss, though. So, like, dismiss and reload table. That's pretty much going to happen here. Add playlist action, something like that, right? <clears throat> can you export your assets as SVGs? Uh, I may open a PR to add vector icons so you can do something like button icon, size, color white. Um, so for the, for these, yes, I believe I have these as SVGs or the YouTube ones in SVG. No, I think they're, they're actually both SVGs that we can use. Yeah, man, that'd be cool. Yo, any, dude, any help would be awesome. Always open for that community help, for sure. Can you check the sketch file into the repo? Yes, I can. Yeah, definitely, Evgen. <clears throat> okay, so add playlist button. Yo, Q1, what's up? Welcome into the Pixel Auditor team. Glad to have you here. Evgen wants to change everything. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> it's all right, let's get past the gatekeeper first. That's me, the owner. <laughs> oh, I didn't put should probably put accessibility labels. Ooh, we should. All right, let me add that as a task here. Hold on, I wanna make sure I don't forget that. Add accessibility. If I can spell correctly. We don't know how to spell it, so we gonna do that. Make sure to add 
labels to all text in app. Do we have any labels for this guy? It's just React Native. Okay. Hey, I used to be a game dev myself. Very nice, very nice. What uh, what happened, man? Why didn't uh, why didn't you continue with that? Okay. Uh, and then here we just want it to say what do we want it to say? Create. Oh, I think the, this can just be a button, right? I mean, I'm not putting any text in there. So I, I mean, I can pretty much just do a regular button here, right? Stress and mental problems. Gotcha, gotcha. That, hey, that happens. Development in general is pretty stressful, I'd say. Um, yeah, I think I can just do a regular button here. Uh, or maybe not. I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I did this because I added an image. But I don't think I really need that. I think I can literally just do a button. Let's just look at the button button component because I am not sure. Yeah, title and then on press. Uh, and then we just, I think we can just add stuffed our component, right? So let's just do that. I think that's really what we need. Oh, no, that's not what I want. It needs to be over here. We're gonna use this, not T button, just a regular button. Oh, I used to work eight to 10 hours and then in the evening do um, own project also too much mental stress. Yeah, man, I, I know the feels to an extent. But it's, uh, I, I think it's good. Like, you should only be working on your own project, in my opinion, though, if uh, if you're enjoying it, you know? If you feel like you have enough time and uh, you, can, you can handle the workload, like, after whatever you need to get done, it's definitely, definitely something fun. Okay, so on press, add playlist action. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and then I think the next thing would just be our styles, right? So styles. Let's try just, uh, or this would be style, excuse me. I do that all the time is styles.button and uh, let's let's check it out and here what we're going to need to do is actually import this into our add playlist modal uh, import add playlist button from buttons add playlist button sweet Makila, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome into the Pixelotic team. Glad to have you here, friend. Sweet. So add plays button should go down there. Um, this is going to be incorrect. So let's just do white. And oh, our flex stuff here. We're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep it like that for now. I 
And then we'll worry about the button stuff after that. Okay, let's restart the server. Uh, NPM start. Get our bundle back in here. Reload this guy. Let's do it. Uh oh. Uh, unable to resolve module, add button from user blah blah blah. Add button cannot be found. Uh, what did I do wrong here? This is talking about add button. Oh, components, playlist, add button. Okay. Components, playlist. I thought it would have changed it for me. Where did I reference this as well? Oh, here it is. Playlist view. I thought it changed it. Usually it changes the path when you, when you do that, but I guess not this time. Wait, what? Add button. Buttons. Add button. Uh, let me try redoing the bundle again. Unable to resolve module was style. Oh, style constants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. From add playlist button here. Yeah. I think this is actually even one level deeper. Like that. Yeah. There we go. That should hopefully do that. And let's try the bundle again. Bundle one more time there. And let's reload it. There it is, okay. Along with Spotify, playlist, uh, can't find variable style sheet. Okay, and that's gonna be uh, import React Knit. Yeah, style, style sheet. Can't find variable platform. Oh, I think my co my copy pasta was a little bad here. Yeah, here, here it is. We have a bunch of bunch of bad stuff here. Uh, button text Let's just comment these out as we're not using them. We don't need button icon at all There we go There's our create Okay, cool. So that's uh Not bad. So now we want to do the button background here, which would be our background color, I think we just did is black, right? Yeah, it was black with a opacity of 40%. Oh, the background color didn't apply to this. I think about it. Uh, we probably, oh, this is probably why I, used, I did that. So we'd probably actually need to put this We have the button and then the view inside. Is that how that would work? Or would we have the view wrap the button? Or is there a background color here? Let's see. Background color, button, react native. Yo, Lil Cosmo, what's up, man? Welcome in. Glad to see you, buddy. Do background. Oh, color of text iOS or background color of button Android. What? 
that is weird. Okay, so that's actually really good to know. Didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> color of text is iOS and background color. Hmm. Let's uh let's try a quick also curious border radius yeah our border doesn't even show up here let's just do a border width let's do a two real quick yeah I think we're gonna have to actually make a, a view and do our touch opacity stuff I would have thought that we'd be able to customize a component Okay. Yeah, that it's weird. It's interesting. But you're right. We're using the touch opacity stuff everywhere else, so probably makes sense. Good call. Yeah, let's just do that then. What's been happening? It's been too long. Dude, just grinding out some code, man. It's been fun. It's been fun. But uh, we're getting there. We've added, we're adding a create playlist model, model, modal right now. Um, add some cool plus button actions and all that fun stuff. So the app's definitely coming along. It's definitely coming along. So I'm happy about. Cool. So now we can have the button text color um, stuff. And then here we're saying add playlist, create button, add playlist action, boom, styles button, boom. Uh, let's do that real quick. Touch opacity. We need to import those guys. Do that here. All right, I think we're looking good. Let's do a quick little refresh. Uh, what did I forget? I did text, did touch, opacity. Uh, what did I miss here? Can I oh, platform. I didn't read literally the first, <laughs> first freaking line. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Uh, style. Style constants, yeah. Do that. Tensei, what's up? You didn't define platform? Yeah. <laughs> Usually, usually happens to me. <laughs> uh, did I miss it again? Oh yeah, down here. Need to add create. There we go. XKX Amil, what is up? Thanks so much for a follow. Welcome to the Pixelogic team. Glad to have you here, friend. There it is. Cool. Uh, and let's add this border radius around here just so we can see what's up nice okay so now let's go ahead and uh, get this thing going here 
so we got this background color first of all this is 145 wide and this is 321 so let's do some math One forty five divided by three twenty one, about forty five, forty five percent width. Let's do a fifty. Um, do a border radius of one. No, maybe two, maybe two. It looks too large though, for sure. So maybe 45 would be, would be the move here. Yeah, and so we need to then move our, yeah, we need to justify this content to the center. So we need a view around this as well. And then we can move that button to the center uh, and make sure we import view here. So we'll call this a container style. And we are going to say Justify content center. Um, and I believe, believe that's no, it's a line item center. I don't think we need this. Flex direction. Flex direction, I don't believe we need either. And we got that. Okay. Let's try it and see what happens. Oh, shit. We do need that. The align item center. But I don't think we need flex direction. We do. How hard is it to complete a mobile app development world? To compete. Um, I don't know, like it's, so I don't do, I don't do mobile app development as like a full-time thing. It seems like there is a lot of need for mobile app development though, right? Like it's a, it's a, it's a thing. It's a real thing. Um, and with all this new tech coming out, like it's fairly easy to start learning and like getting really good at at uh, mobile development and like you can use anything now right web tech native tech whatever whatever you know sometimes you want to pull all your styles out of the component function oh yes thank you I've been doing that uh, since you recommended it poopa I appreciate that yeah I'm just gonna play around with the flex stuff you know I always have an issue with it uh, and so button text we can then do What's this thing called? Uh, align text. Text align. That should do that, right? Uh, what? Isn't this just a view in itself? Oh, but the the width of this should be a hundred percent and then then I should be able to do that. It'd be easy. It is very uh very hopeless to get your app seen on mobile stores nowadays. I wouldn't say it's hopeless, it's it's difficult, right? Like it's <laughs> mobile app store is very saturated. Like there's tons and tons of apps out there. Um so I actually made an app a long it's a while ago. We just started doing development on it. It's called Cycles. Uh, this was the very first mobile app I ever made. And 
I started this in, in university and it was like, it's how I learned how to build mobile apps and like it for what it is. I think it did really well for itself and I did almost zero marketing on it. Um, it just got, it got lucky, I guess it got picked up by a couple places and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, parent view needs a hundred percent width. Oh, so the button itself. Oh, or you're talking about the container maybe? Oh wait, hold on. It should be like this. Um Wait, the container. Oh, I didn't apply the style. No wonder. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. What you what you doing over there? Uh I with 100%. Oh, container, wait, container with 100%? Or this guy? Hundred percent of our parent, right? So, if I want this to be forty-five, I gotta do that. Oh, the container. But then, how do I make the button smaller? My min width. Oh. Let's see. I'll go with what you're saying. Okay, so our container is hundred percent. Button with should be desired button with. Okay. So at this point, width should be 45% of the view. Do you think solo developer could get livable income through apps if they develop, let's say, 10 free apps with Google Ads and offer paid options to remove ads, extra features? Um, I, I really think it depends, man. Like, ads are a good way these days to make money and having, like, app in-app purchases are, are good too i don't know like the thing is that you might be able to do get some disposable income from that and livable income but the problem is it's not steady right so one month your app could blow up and you could make tons of money and then the next month you could get zero downloads like i think that's the hard part about um about app development cool yo thanks poopa appreciate it man Okay, so I understand this correctly. Our container is the entire size of the modal. Then, since now we know our con our container now knows its full width, we can now get forty five percent of that width, right, and apply it here. That makes sense. I understand now. I understand. Thanks for all the info. I'll not bother too much to just reveal it. No, please. I've, I'm i not like uh, some Twitch streamers on here that do programming. Um, some of them like to just kind of program and, and not interact too much. I'm here to answer questions if I can. So please, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to like give you my take and experience on it. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot, but like I have experience on some things, I would say. needs to be larger and it's I think it's is 44 height here no it's 26 mm, no wonder it looks odd it looks off but maybe that's okay we want it to probably be the maybe like a 60% width of this guy and now we want to add our background color here uh, okay background color uh, and we are going to do 
Oh, uh, we got to do the button thing that we uh, did last time that Evgen showed us. It was, where are you at style? Add button, was it this? Yeah, style. Oh, it was being passed in from add playlist modal or uh, playlist view. And that style was, it was like B3 or something, right? Yes, it was this thing. <laughs> this was the thing. There we go. Have experience in, in some things. Yeah, you know. I, I like, I know maybe like one or two things. That's what it feels like a lot of the time. Oh, God. Ooh, that's a weird. That's some weird opacity right there. Mm. Mm. I guess because of our background, right? It looks kind of, looks kind of funky. All right, how do I make this gradient uh, border now? Border radius or border gradient. React native for all native day. So start by installing the React Native Linear Gradient Package. Oh, we got install a package for gradient. God damn it. Should we just import, <laughs> should we just export another uh, another image and do that? <laughs> Might be the way to go. I don't know. Oh, but we wouldn't be able to do the background gradient. We use that gradient package as well. Yeah, you think it's worth it? Probably, right? I guess it's not too much more. You just so start by installing the React Native linear gradient package. Let's create a 200 pixel container. You should see this if you follow the steps above. Hmm. You have it on the plus button. Yeah. So I did <laughs> a little. I did a little bit of fanciness there. Um, we actually rendered that out in. Uh, and sketch here and so this is just a image that I added onto the button yeah so like the the big things that oh actually we, we might be able to do it where we can just render out the button itself and then uh, we just don't render out the text. I was going to say, it all depends on the, uh, like, it would be cool to get this app localized, right? <laughs> so being able to, we don't want to render out the create text with it. We just want to add the text dynamically on top of it. Yeah, so maybe maybe we can just do that then as well. Um, might be a pretty good idea. Um, but I am actually going to need to hop off real quick. Uh, well, not real quick for for the end of the day today. Let me go ahead and actually update this real quick. Uh, nope, that's not that's not what I'm looking for. Almost done with the add playlist view. Just need to add proper gradient on button uh, and need to dismiss modal but actually let's do the dismiss modal stuff real quick I think that's that'll be pretty easy I 
can probably just get that in very quickly. Uh, I think it's something like uh, here navigation dot dismiss modal. I think it's literally just that. Isn't that how I display it though? Uh... Oh, I do overlay. It's dismiss overlay. That's what it is. There we go. Does it really have to be a gradient? In my opinion, black border looks better. Um, I, so I don't like the black border too much, honestly. Uh, the reason why I did the gradient is because the gradient on this, this addition button as well, uh, is the, is there, right? Um, and I've, I've always thought that having a little bit of just like this kind of secondary color that pops is, is good. Um, wait, what? Oh, dismiss overlay by component ID? Do I have to? I probably have to pass it in. Show overlay component and then dismiss. Or a non-gradient orange. Oh, so just like a, a, a static orange. We can definitely try that out, dude. That's a, always open to suggestions. Gotcha. Okay. So it's this overlay. It should be navigation constants dot our overlay here is the out of playlist. Yeah. Modal nav ID. So it should be that one. I guess that's because if you have multiple. No. Okay. I'm missing something here. Um, but okay. I'll I'm get back to this tomorrow because I, I do have to go. So do and dismiss overlay. Action. Yeah, like that. Okay, folks. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you all coming by. Um, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you haven't yet, consider giving the channel a follow. Get notified when I go live. I'll be here Monday through Friday from uh, 12.30 p.m. UTC and 5.30 a.m. PST. We're always on for a couple hours. Today's a little bit shorter. Um, Tensei, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the team, friend. Uh, and also consider joining the Discord. We'll love to have you in there. Uh, we have a lot of great talks going on there. People writing code, writing memes, all, all the good stuff. So consider joining the discord um and at the end of every stream we always love to raid always love to raid a fellow programmer here on twitch so let's see who's who's online i always like to try to uh raid smaller streamers so if you got got anyone cool on here that we can we can give a little little love to Scene. maybe not web dev let's do mobile we got anyone doing mobile stuff Ooh, ios engineering youtuber 84 viewers wow okay is this is this english that's portuguese i don't know portuguese Day one fourteen working on camera stuff? Garage coder. Alright, let's show this guy some love. So make sure you grab the raid message, folks. And uh let's show garage coder some love here.
If you're a sub, grab that first message. Uh, and if you're not, don't worry, grab that second one. Twitch rip the bun. What's up, Loba Loba? Welcome, welcome. We're actually about to go send a raid over to Garage Coder right now. Uh, but we'll be back here tomorrow, 1230 UTC and uh, 530 PST. So I hope to see you back here then. Thanks again, everyone, for coming out. And uh, we'll catch you. We'll catch you next time. Peace and love.